What's up, dude? Hmm? What's up, dude? I'm not taking you with me. I'm just gonna be right outside. Go play. Go. Okay, so. Now. <sighs> might be an over my head. Um, I traded my motorcycle for a boat a while back. And it was all good. I used it, you know, the first year I had it. Knowing that it wasn't quite the way I wanted it as far as the electrical was concerned, as far as, I don't know, the different mods that I wanted to do to it. I had a, I had one live well that was working. The other one was plugged up. So I rerouted new line for the live wells and realized why the one line was plugged up at the transom and that's because the pump was leaking. So I've got a new pump to put in there, but tip of the iceberg. Have some coffee. Um, so as I said, there's the new pump. But I had to go get some new wire strippers this morning because I was fighting my other ones. And I've got all kinds of stuff to do to this boat. So down in there, there's the two live well pumps and a bilge pump. You can see the new hose that I ran. And that particular pump is leaking from the upper part of the housing. I don't believe that that pump has a gasket on it. And since I can't find a gasket for sale anywhere, I've got the new pump cartridge to replace it with. So before, and you can see one of the starting, one of the batteries in the back back there, there's the two batteries that used to run the trolling motor. And the trolling motor was a piece of garbage and was falling apart. So it's gone. Um, I don't have a trolling motor to replace it with yet. My primary concern is I'm gonna use one of those, um, I'm gonna use one of those existing deep cycle batteries as a house battery i'll use this battery as the designated battery for the for the motor i've got a new ignition switch right here i've got some replacement breakers for those live well pumps because they were old and shot as you can see, there's all nice new switches and breakers on my panel. I went ahead and ran the jumpers for all the grounds this morning. I've got some individual red and black 14 gauge tinned wire. I've also got a hundred foot roll of the duplex. But I've got a lot to do. So I'm gonna start with the dash. Let's see if I can get that down. All right. So I've got a attack that worked when I was running it. The sounder, I never saw it work. Speedometer is not functioning. However, I think that's because the, the tube it's supposed to go to the back of the transom is buried back here in the back so i should be able to get a i should be able to get that working this little switch here is for the sensitivity on the sounder again that doesn't work 
fuel gauge doesn't work. I think it's the sender unit. Voltmeter works. Um, the, I guess that's the water pressure gauge and the trim gauge. I never saw the trim gauge work. So what I'm thinking about doing is just get rid of this sounder altogether and get rid of that all together and uh, I can get a like a push button switch and put a horn in that spot and then I can use my uh, use my fish finder for depth and the places I'm gonna go I kind of have a good idea of what the depth is I don't plan on running this thing very shallow anyway but my next task is going to be that. We got the fuse panel. So I'm gonna go from the battery to the fuse panel, from the fuse panel to the breakers, from the breaker to the switch, switch to the loads. This is a mess absolute mess i tried to label as best i can i didn't have any decent tape on me at the time all i had was this blue painter's tape and a pen i don't know how much of this i'm going to have to actually rewire but there's a lot of stuff under here there's there were wires that were going forward that were hot for no apparent reason. It's a lot. So if you've got any ideas, if you've done this kind of project before, please feel free to give me some tips in the comments. And if your tip is get some lighter fluid, find a field and set it ablaze, save it. <laughs> Um, I traded a motorcycle for this boat. It was maybe worth a couple grand. And I can't even replace that engine for that. So, it's dirty because it's been sitting under my, under my carport. And it's covered in pollen and dust because this is South Georgia. But I've got, got a decent amount of knowledge when it comes to electricity and running electricals. This is my first time rewiring a boat though, so. Hopefully, I'm gonna just take it a step at a time and I'll be able to get it at least lake-worthy again. But I figured while I'm rewiring it, I'm going to put in some lights, you know, some strip lights. Uh, I've gotten a lot of parts for this thing already. So hopefully, I mean, it's a lot, <laughs> but I think I can get it. And like I said, if, uh, if you got some advice, I'm always willing to listen. So, look forward to the next update. And hopefully it won't look quite as torn apart the next time you see the boat. Again, this is an 1800 TF Bass Tracker. And it's got a pretty monstrous motor on the back of it. Evinrude XP 150 and uh, yeah she's she's pretty sporty she's just this boat's just dirty but look forward to seeing what you say and uh, wish me luck